Thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming to you from Ontario, Canada. And it's two for Tuesday. Now I know I missed the last two Tuesdays. Um, the first one is because I forgot it was Tuesday. Monday was a holiday and it messed me all up. And last Tuesday I was just too exhausted. So in today's two for Tuesday video, I'm going to show you two cards that I'm done with the perfectly plaid stamp set and the matching bunch. Um, now the first idea I got from a demonstrator whose name is Helen Denbrigian. Helen Denbrigian got it off the internet. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Um, I basically cased the card completely. Um, I really, really liked it. Um, so that's going to be our first card. So it looks like this. Super duper easy, but really super cute. And then the second one is all me. And that's uh, that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to flip you down. I'm going to take you in a little bit closer. I'm going to flip you down, get you in frame, hopefully. Whoa. Hi. Sorry about that. Okay. Now. So I've got my regular card base in North America, five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I've cut this white piece at uh, two and a quarter by five and a half. And this was a quarter of an inch by five and a half. So I'm gonna go and put, I'm gonna glue. Actually, I'm, I got the big guns. I'm out of snail. It'll be here in my order on Wednesday, so I'm using my big guns. So I will just make sure it's even. There we go. goes at the top. Okay, so there we have it. Now we're going to be using some of the really pretty designer series paper. Um, oh my gosh, what is this called? Something about snowmans. Let me see. Let It Snow Specialty Designer Series Paper, and it is, I don't know if you can see all the pretty patterns, but anyways, you can find it on page 20 of the Holiday Catalog. Um, and what I'm going to do with that is use the punch to punch out some trees. So, take my Designer Series Paper and put my tree punch in, and punch, there's one. This one I wanted the snow on this side. There's two. And this one I wanted the stripes. There's three. And what I did with this paper is I embossed it with the um, swirly. This is the one in the Halloween section. Stylish scroll, nothing to do with swirly. Stylish scroll, so I emboss that piece of real red and then I punched out a tree with it. And then I used my plaid stamp and stamped in the um, shaded spruce a plaid tree. And we're gonna go ahead and put this together. Oh wait, but first, before I do that, Where's my sentiment? Um, I don't usually do my sentiments in black. Like I would normally, I would if I was doing this, I would do it in green. But I really like the way her card looked with the black. So I thought, you know what? I like the way this card looks just like it is. I'm not going to change anything. So what I've done is I've stamped it on a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out. I'm just going to cut or just cut that to... Now that Merry Christmas, that comes from the set with the 
holiday jingle bells. Hold on, what's it called? That Merry Christmas comes from Christmas Gleaming, it's called. Okay, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. Now it's a case of gluing all of this stuff together. So I'm going to take my uh, I'm going to take my first one over here, and then my second tree. Put some glue on my second tree. I'm going to offset that just a little bit. I don't want to press down too hard because I still have to put this blue tree behind. Then the red tree goes beside. And I use a liquid glue because the Specialty Designer Series paper has um, sparkles on it. So the glue doesn't really fit well with the sparkles. Like it doesn't stick. Alrighty. And then that guy is going to get popped up with glue dots somewhere on my table are glue dots. There they are. I can pop those up. One, two, and three. And it like that and then the Merry Christmas will get glued down off center as well oh no okay make sure you don't do that there and that is a very pretty simple Christmas card a great way to use up some designer series paper and super fun and easy all right now is my second card so that one, I'm going to take my Big Shot out. So that's the swirly frame that we used. Um, I use the same frame on this card. And I have the old style frame. So that gets sandwiched in my Big Shot like so. I'm going to move that along. Ugh. All right. And then one more thing I want to do with this big shot. I'm using the wreath from Tidings. What is Tidings all around. I'm using the wreath from that set, the one that, uh, the one that looks like this, and that's going to get cut on the magnetic platform. I love the magnetic platform. Okay, and then I don't need my big shot anymore. I do want to use my um, a couple of them didn't come out. I can't find my foam thing to go with my brush. In, it's in here somewhere. So I'll just have to poke these out the old fashioned way. There we go. Get rid of that. This is a really interesting shape that comes out of the inside of that 
It reminds me of a Beyblade. I don't know if you guys know what Beyblades are. That's what it reminds me of. Or a storm cloud. So I don't know. It's weird. All right. Start assembling this card. Put that right in the middle. And then the wreath is going to go off to the side. So I don't have to put glue on every single one of these little leaves. I kind of just pick and choose randomly which one's going to get a dab of glue. And of course, if you, you would use your Tombow liquid glue or any of your liquid glues. Um, oh, first. Oh, I forgot. Got to do something else first. Got to put the red stripe because I found there was just too much green. So I used the red stripe from the snowman paper and uh, gave it a bit of color. And this goes off to the side like that. And I'm gonna flip it over and pat it to get the um, glue to adhere to that embossing. There, oh, 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 I love this wreath so much. Okay, so now I need this and some embossing for some mark. Looking for my embossing bag, but I can't find that either. One of these days I'll have to go through all my stuff. Go through all my stuff and find everything before I start the video. That would be ideal. I'm sure you guys can relate. Got white embossing powder on there. And we're going to heat that up. I'm going to be off camera a little bit because my heat gun does not come all the way. Takes a while. Hi! My very messy desk. All right, there we go. And now that that's heat embossed, I'm gonna use my punch. I mention it every time, but I love stamp sets with matching punches. I really, really, truly, 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 truly do. Okay, now I need real red and my plaid. Stamp, it's my favorite. The plaid one is the one I use the most. So you don't want to ink up too much. Okay, so that's not bad. So lightly tap, and then you want to make sure the ink transfers nicely. Oh, that one's perfect. That is perfect. Sometimes they, uh, I get too much ink and it doesn't stamp very well. You have to be very particular with this one. You don't want to stamp too hard and you don't want too much ink or the pattern won't show properly. And it's such a beautiful plaid pattern. You want it to look good. And then I've inked up this one for the first time. This also comes in that stamp set. It makes a really, really, really nice tree. But I've never used it before today. Oh, I missed a spot. Very pretty. And again, this one's a little bit harder to, uh, there. and ideally you would stamp a stem with that, but it's going to be covered, so I'm not going to bother stamping my stem. I don't need the ink, so I'll put that away. That is not true. I will need the ink in a minute, but disaster can happen. I don't know if you guys saw my Facebook post, but yesterday I got everything ready to... I had the kids all set up with the craft, and the big kids were, up, were playing, and I got myself set up to work on my class that I have this Saturday. I've got 18 people coming, and we're making 20 different cards. And I spilled coffee all over everything. 
Um, so all over the five sample cards that I had out, those are those were ruined and had to be redone. All over half of a pack of white whisper white cardstock, kaching. All I saw was dollar signs flying away, and all over some other pieces of paper. But I was just so angry at myself for doing that. Yes, yes, I will invest in. I actually, you know what? I have spill proof mugs, and I never use them. So I'm going to tell you, for those of you watching who are coming to my retreat in November, please bring spill-proof mugs. There's no reason for you not to bring them. Bring them. Spill-proof mug. Spill-proof mug. There we go. All right. Now I need my... No, not that one. This one. We'll use this one. So this phrase is so pretty. It says, may this special season... Be wrapped in love and joy. And we're going to do that in the shaded spruce as well. And then I'm going to use my trimmer to trim that. So what I do is I'm not so much concerned about what my my measurement is what I'm concerned with is where my word is next to the line so if you can see where my line is started right here uh, that's how close I want it so I'm not measuring I'm basically just cutting it as close to the word as possible and then I did something very uniquely different for me I did not flag I angle cut so that was difficult because I always flag, but I did it. And that's gonna kinda go there. Alrighty, this is gonna get glued down. And right snug to the um, tree trunk there. I don't know what tool this is. I don't know where I got this. I have zero idea where it's from. It's filthy. But I use this tool. It may be from my silhouette, actually. It needs to be cleaned desperately. There we go. So there is our second card that we did today. Now I'll flip you back up and hopefully I won't drop the camera again like I did at the beginning. There. Hi. Okay. So first card that I cased off of Helen and her last name that I can't pronounce and this one that I made up all on my own. Oh, you know what? <gasps> Just thinking about something. There are red like jewels that we sell. Oh, I have no idea where they are. They're They're just red, red rhinestone jewels. They would look so pretty all around. If I could find them, I would totally do that. There they are! Oh my gosh, I found them. Look, these. Okay, we're gonna put some of those on there to add some color because uh, it needs more color. Oh, hooray! All right, where should, where should they go? I'm gonna put you down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so now it's to decide where they're gonna go. They're gonna be random. And these things are not really that expensive, so you can you can be generous with them. Oh my gosh, this adds such a perfect. I love this. Oh, it's so much better. So much better. Oh, hooray. That's fine when you just think of things like on the fly like that. I'm like, oh, it's going to work out. All right, so those are our two cards. That, oh my gosh, this is the longest two for Tuesday we've ever done. I'm very sorry I wasn't more organized. Um, I'm very, very tired. Working 12-hour days and then doing this on the side is exhausting. Um, so thank you for watching. Thanks for everybody who messaged me to see if I was okay. Um, yes, I'm fine. I'm just lazy. 
And uh, also for the girls that I was cropping with on the weekend, thank you for all the nice things you said to me. All right, have a great rest of your Tuesday, and I'll see you hopefully with a new video very shortly. Bye.